University College of the North 2008 Convocation Ceremony. My name is Dan Smith. I'm the Vice President, Academic and Research, and I'll be your MC for today's celebration. I'd like to acknowledge that our proceedings today are taking place on the traditional territory of the Nisi Chowaisic Cree Nation and the homeland of the Métis. I would like to thank Elder Maria Ballantyne for conducting the pipe ceremony this morning and ensuring that our celebration today began in a good way. If you have cell phones, I'd ask you that you turn them off or silence them uh, for the duration of today's event. Also, please join us for a light reception immediately following the ceremony. The reception is located directly behind the stage. I'd ask you all please to rise for the entrance of the academic procession, which will be sung by Cree travelers, and remain standing until after the invocation. Today's procession is led by Elder Nick Halcrow, Eagle Staff Carrier.
Thank you very much. I would like to ask you all to remain standing and I'd like to invite Harmony Dumas to the stage to sing the national anthem. I will be singing O Canada in Cree and then in English. O Canada, Nigina Netaskina, Saki Hetoen, Ketchawa Semesa. Nete hinan ke pasikon ki chiki waitenok o tauchi nite esko ke sito skatinan no tawinan kana winita. Oh, Canada, ni ni pawinan kia uchi. Oh, Canada, ni ni pawinan kia uchi. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all our sons' command. With glowing hearts, we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2018. Thank you, Harmony. Please remain standing for the invocation and I would like to invite Elder Martha Jonason to the podium to offer the prayer of invocation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Before I start our prayer, I'd like to bring greetings and be happy for all our graduates today. On behalf of the Council of Elders, we are proud of you. It's another step forward into your future. Look wisely as you go forward. Lord, our Savior and Creator, we thank you for all the blessings you've given us. We thank you especially today for all these young people who have taken another step forward in their future. We ask that you bless all those and all those others who are in need of our prayers today. We ask that you bless UCN and all their staff that they will continue to look forward 
to helping all the young people of the North. We ask that you continue to restore all our knowledge and our knowledge and help of all the people that surround us. We ask this in thy name. Amen. Thank you, Elder Martha. Please be seated. Today, a number of guests are here to participate in our ceremony. I would ask each individual to rise as they are introduced, and then they can sit down right away. Uh, and I'd ask uh, all of us to please hold our applause until after the get all of the guests have been introduced. Susan Oxford, representing the Dean of Library Services. Vicki Zarin, Dean of Health. Danielle Adams, representing MK, uh, MP Nikki Ashton. Harvey Briggs, Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Business and Science. Jalida Lajmodier, Manitoba Métis Federation. Councillor Kathy Valentino, City of Thompson. Dr. Colin Bonningcastle, University of Manitoba. Donna Carrier, Vice President, Community Based Services. Rob Penner, Associate Vice President, College of Trades and Technology. David Williamson, Dean of Education. Linda Marcus, UCN's Governing Council. Doug Lovestad, President and Vice Chancellor. David Del Canale, Registrar. Elder Nick Halcrow, Eagle Staff Carrier. Elder Martha Jonasson, Council of Elders. Edwin Jeb, Chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your platform party. Thank you for joining us today. Today we have the honor of installing the University College of the North's third President and Vice Chancellor, Mr. Doug Lovestead. I invite Chancellor Edwin Jeb to come forward and introduce the President and Vice Chancellor. Born and raised in the Paw, Manitoba, Doug has always been interested in contributing to the well-being of Northern Manitoba. Doug came to UCN from Northern Man Northern Manitoba Sector Council, where he served as Executive Director. UCN, or rather its predecessor, Kewaden Community College, is not new territory for Doug. He held a senior administrative role with UCN from 1998 to 2007. So really, he returned home with his appointment as President and Vice Chancellor. Doug served as Chair of the Northern Regional Health Authority Board and also as a member of the Apprenticeship and Trades Certification Board. Doug's time as president has been one of reflection. He never assumed that the institution he now leads was the same as the one he knew. He, he has spent time understanding how technology and systems have evolved and changed processes at UCN. As president, he has asked why particularly if that question led to new and innovative ways of doing things, all to serve all the better serve students and stakeholders. Outside of UCN, Doug is renowned for his breathtaking and stunning photography, especially capturing the essence that is the North. I can safely say on behalf of the Governing Council that we look forward to continuing our good work under Doug's leadership. Okay, yeah. Doug Lestet, over here. I won't step on your toe. Thank you. <laughs> Please repeat after me. I, Doug Lovestead, pledge myself. I, Doug Lovestead, pledge myself. To perform the duties of President and Vice Chancellor. To perform the duties as President and Vice Chancellor. Of the University College of the North. Of the University College of the North. As prescribed by law. As prescribed by law. And by the statutes of the University College of the North and by the statutes of the University College of the North. 
I promise to uphold the University College of North traditions. I promise to uphold the University College of the North traditions. Principles and purposes. Principles and purposes. And to defend the rights. And to defend the rights. And promote the welfare. And promote the welfare of the University College of the North and its members. Of the University College of the North and its members. In the name of the University College of the North and at the request of the Governing Council, I declare you Doug Lovestead, duly installed as the President and Vice Chancellor of University College of the North, and invest you with the authority and charge you with the responsibilities pertaining to that office. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you all, and I'd just like to uh, uh, say how honoured I am to serve in this capacity and how significant it is for me to be installed by my good friend and my guide and mentor, Edwin Jeb. Uh, Edwin is, is a tireless advocate for UCN and a role model for us all. Personally, I pledge to do all in my power to advance UCN so that it fully serves the needs of our students. It is my goal to make UCN more exciting, more relevant, and more connected. And most importantly, I pledge to serve the students and staff to the best of my ability. And now to the graduates and the elders, tri-council members, honored guests, esteemed colleagues, family and friends, welcome to the 2018 University College of the North Convocation Ceremonies. This event is why all of us, all of the staff at UCN, why we go to work in the morning. It's simply about what it is all about, a celebration of your achievement. And I'd like to take a moment to reflect on this celebration and why we are here. We gather and we put on our, our academic regalia and our robes, and we all of us get dressed up, and many friends and family come from all over to be with us. And these important people behind me come to bring messages of support and encouragement. And we wear these gowns and we come to show our respect for our graduates and for this ceremony. And we have music and honor songs and processions to signify that this is an important event, not only to, to you, the graduates, but to the North. And it's important that we celebrate your achievement it is important to the UCN community, to your family, and to all the people gathered here. It is important to our province and to our country that we celebrate your achievement because you are important. You are important. You are the future, and we all need the skills and knowledge you have gained here at UCN because they are important and vital and necessary to help our part of the world grow and prosper. So my message to you, is to use the skills and knowledge and experience that you have gained here at UCN to enrich your life, the lives of your family, and the well-being of your community. And to all those gathered here today, I would just like to thank you and welcome you to the Convocation of 2018. Thank you very much. Thank you, President Lovestead. I invite Chancellor Edwin Jeb to the podium to provide greetings. Thank you, Dr. Smith. On behalf of the Office of Chancellor, I bring your greetings and congratulations to the graduates of 2018 University College of the North. It was a very beautiful procession we came in, and I acknowledge the elders that led us that are sitting on my right here. And I acknowledge the prayer said by our elder, and I acknowledge the drum group that led us in, a, in a, such a beautiful procession as, Mr., as our president just said, as we honor you graduates that are here in your, in your graduating ceremony. And I thank the city of Thompson and Ms. Valentino, the city representative, for making us feel welcome. But usually I call her the hockey mom because all her boys, all her boys play hockey. I didn't even, I didn't even um, remember her name. All I remember is she's a hockey mother and her boys played here. And now we have people graduating from, from here. 
And we had the same ceremony two days ago in, a, at a, in Nepal at Opaska Korean Nation at Gordon Lafkin Memorial Center, where, where so many of our people and students of the University of College of the North um, got their certificates and diplomas. And it was so beautiful, beautiful to be there. And, and as we are led by our elders here today, and one person mentioned the other day in Nepal at Opaska Korean Nation, how fitting it was that so many, of, so many people are graduating and, and some of our elders are former teachers and some of those are products of students that they taught. So with that, we acknowledge our elders that have paved the way for us in the past so we can use education as a tool to help us in our daily lives and helping not just Thompson, but all our communities grow and prosper. And with that, congratulations and be safe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chancellor Jeb. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the dedication and commitment of our deans, faculty, and staff whose contributions to the success of our students are vital. UCN deans, faculty, and staff, I'd like to ask you to rise. Stand up. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for those who have supported our students in so many ways. Thank you, you can be seated. I'm pleased to be able to introduce this year's valedictorian, Peter Harris. <laughs> Peter is graduating from the Bachelor of Education program. During his time here at UCN, he has demonstrated strong leadership skills, work ethic, and school spirit. He managed to balance his family life for school very well and was always the first to jump at the opportunity to help. He volunteered in the UCN community organizing Halloween activities, curling bond spiels, Christmas feasts, family bowling events, and open gym sports nights for students. He enjoyed planning class outings to bring his classmates together, and he always encouraged others to get involved. He served as a member of the Student Association Council for many years, and has held the position of Vice President for the past two. He worked as a peer tutor throughout his education and he has helped many students to succeed. He shared journals with Muses from the North and has helped his professors conduct research. He worked on the UCN students' employability and the impact uh, of publication and recognitions of students' life and career research projects, which required him to organize several student events and seminars. He also delivered two presentations related uh, to his own publishing experience and is actively involved in his community and manages to find time to coach bowling and high jump. Our valedictorian has a high GPA and excels in all of his classes. He's enthusiastic, caring, full of school spirit, and is known to bring the brightness and known to bring a brightness to the room. He is passionate about his work and always makes everyone feel welcome at UCN. Please welcome me in joining the, the class valedictorian of 2018, Peter Harris. Oh my, look at this crowd, eh? Okay, I hope I don't forget what I came up here to say. But first, to the graduating class, good afternoon. Um, and for those of you who don't know me, I am Peter Harris, a recent graduate from the Keenan Al Bachelor of Education program. Now I'm gonna try to keep my speech as brief as possible. I have it time to about five minutes, so won't be keeping you too long. Um, and I know that most of us are just anxiously waiting for when we get to toss our caps into the air and for the celebrating that's going to ensue, so, and no doubt we've earned it. But first, I want to thank everyone who's joined us here today for our special day. I want to welcome our honoured guest up here on the stage with me. Thank you for taking the time to join us. I also want to thank the faculty and staff for without all your hard work, this day wouldn't be possible. Um, I also need to thank our family and friends for joining us. As students, we know how hard it can be. So without your support, family, you know, this day may not have happened. Um, but most importantly, I want to welcome you graduates. It's so nice to see so many of you here. I'm excited to be here with you. Okay, so now before I continue, I need to give a special shout out to my friend and fellow student, Carlin, for the nomination for valedictorian. And I also want to thank the nomination committee for selecting me. And from what I understand, you guys, it was the hardest decision they ever had to make in an unopposed nomination. So 
thank you for the chance to be in here. Um, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to say, but I know it's important for me to acknowledge all that we've done over these past years. Um, in the six years that it's taken me to get my five-year degree, I've witnessed tremendous growth in all of you, as well as with our tiny institution. Um, I did my first year at the old campus, and although that place was not without its charm, here we are in a brand new, beautiful facility. Our programs are expanding, and quality education is obtainable. We are direct proof that education is possible in the North, and we thrive with it. So, and we are a testament to our communities, and we give validation to what it is we're trying to achieve here. So you should all be proud of yourselves. I know that I am. So now this is the part of the speech where I'm gonna try to uh, imbue some wisdom, maybe some inspiration, so bear with me. Now if we, if our lives are novels of our own writing, this is the end of a very significant chapter for us. And while we are all gathered here for the same purpose, I know that the paths we took to get here were diverse. Everyone here has had to overcome their own unique trials and tribulations in the writing of their own novel. Now regardless of what it took, we are here, we've made it this far, and today is a day of achievement. Today is a day of celebration, and today we turn the page and start a new chapter in our lives. And some of us may ask, what comes next? For most of us, we will be entering the career path of our chosen degrees and diplomas we just finished. We will enter the world that we spent the last years preparing for. We now get to put into practice all that we've learned from our education. Our trade students will go into the world and ensure things are built and fixed with skilled competency. Our Bachelor of Education students will become teachers, nursing students, nurses, and art students, I say good luck to you. <laughs> but in all seriousness, there will be challenges in this next chapter, but we will not let that dampen our need to write it. So as we celebrate our success today, reflect on why it is you chose to venture the path that you are on. Maybe you chose the trades because you enjoy creating things with your hands. Perhaps you chose a Bachelor of Education to seize the opportunity to help shape the minds of future students. Early childhood because you love children. Maybe you chose nursing because you heard of all the money they make. Or, no wait, I mean, uh, you, you want to save lives. <laughs> but re regardless your reasons, hold on to that. It is said that if you love what you do, you will never have to work a day in your life. And I hope all of you, all of us, find the joy and love in what it is we set out to do from this moment on. And now, like some of you, I'm not sure how all the things we learned at UCN are gonna correlate to this next chapter. You know, I may have figured out how to stretch a 1,500 word paper into 2,000 by extra long quotations, but I doubt, that, I doubt that's gonna help us in our future. And now, like most of you, you know, I figured by my third year how many classes we can miss before it affects our credits. That is definitely not a skill that I need to take into the future. So, but with so many variables, I was not sure what to completely expect. So I did take some time and ask recent graduates for some advice. And here are four bits of advice that they offered to me. Number one, they said, love what you do and don't settle for less than what you think you deserve. Now bear in mind, this person is unemployed and still lives in his parents' basement. <laughs> but it is great advice nonetheless. If you love what you do, it won't be any work at all. The second bit of advice, you gotta put yourself out there and don't be afraid of failure. <laughs> now this person who offered this advice has been divorced a few times, so maybe he put himself out there a bit more than most. And for those of you who know me, no, it wasn't me that gave this advice. <laughs> but I just wanna say, go into the world with a brave heart and don't be scared to fail. That is how we learn, and that is how we grow. Number three, take responsibility for yourself, but don't be afraid to accept help. Now, I assume when they said take responsibility, they meant money. And also when they said help, I also think they meant money. So yes, go and make as much money as you can, but don't forget to accept help that is offered and offer help in return. Everyone involved will be the better for it. And the final bit of advice that was offered to me was learn proper email etiquette. And although this is pretty simple in how it sounds, make sure that when you're sending emails at the office, don't CC everyone's personal information. Jane Doe in shipping and receiving doesn't need to know about your athlete's foot. <laughs> so, now I hope this advice helps. And with that, you guys, I'm gonna conclude my speech. But before I do, I just wanna say that as we venture into the future with our diplomas and degrees in hand, remember your time you spent at University College of the North. I will absolutely cherish my time I spent with you. 
I also want to just send a special thank you to my family out there. I love you guys. You guys have been a fantastic support to me. And to the graduates, I wish you all the best of luck. God bless. Thank you guys. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Peter. <clears throat> You've likely seen some of our graduates waiting, wearing scarves given to them at UCN's 10th annual traditional powwow celebration in the Paw and the fourth annual Leslie W. Turner Memorial Traditional Powwow in Thompson. Past, present, and future graduates were honored for their achievements and gifted special scarves that feature a feather, a nookshook, and Métis flag representing First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. We are proud to include those special scarves as part of UCN's academic regalia. Mr. Chancellor, I now have the honor of requesting on behalf of the Learning Council that you confer upon the candidates the degrees, diplomas, and certificates earned by them as these shall later be announced. Will all graduates and graduates please rise? And I would ask Chancellor Jeb to come forward to read the conferral statement. By virtue of the authority invested in me by the University College of North, I admit you to the degrees, certificates, and diplomas to, to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. I also admit in abstainia those who have completed the requirements of these degrees, certificates, and diplomas, but who are not today able to be present. Graduates, please move your tassels to your left, to your left. Thank you, Chancellor Jeb. Please be seated. We're nearly ready. I just have a few things to tell you before presenting the certificate diplomas and degrees as part of, um, and that's the part that we've all been waiting for. The row in front is reserved for the picture takers, and I would invite you to come forward and take the picture, take a picture of your graduate when the time is right, and then surrender that spot for someone else to do the same. The graduates will be called as listed in the program, and we would ask that aisles be kept clear so graduates can safely return to their seats after they cross the stage. I would ask that you and your families to honor and respect the achievements of the entire 2018 class um, by returning to your seat after receiving your credential and remaining until all credentials have been handed out. And finally, we invite the audience to applaud and cheer for your graduate as much as you would like. Please make this celebratory for them and make as much noise as you, as you can. There will be two photo opportunities, one with the Chancellor and the President center stage and one with dean, the Dean and faculty on stage right. Mr. Chancellor and Mr. President, please come forward to center stage and let's begin. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the high school diploma program. <laughs> Stephanie Ann and Stan and Sannon. Erica and Stannon. <laughs> Nicole Bignell.
Conley Burnett. Devin Clark. <laughs> Felicia Dalmont. Teddy Flett. <laughs> Alexis Garson. Holly Gosfeld. <laughs> Gary Philip Canabi. Wesley Dale Kuypers. <laughs> Paul Nicholas Matchuk. Skyler David Neil McKay. <laughs> Lishan Gabrielle McLeod. Olivia Mindy McLeod. <laughs> Jamie Valerie Marie Moore. Amy Margaret Scott. <laughs> Kelly Leanne Spence.
Wendy Fawn Thomas. Julianne Alyssa Towers. <laughs> Becky Ann Warashello. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Bachelor of Arts program. Arvella Sherilyn Blacksmith. Angel Evans. <laughs> David Robert Hart. Albertine Germain Mason. <laughs> Michelle Ashley Moose. Candice Valin Cuesca Capo. <laughs> Carrie Agnes Margaret Samuel. Tanisha Elsie Rose Spence Keeper. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Basic Business Principles Program. Laura Denichisi.
Joanne Marie Hart. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Business Admin Accounting Major Program, Carol Biggity. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Business Admin Management major program. Lacey Blanche Forey. <laughs> Deneen Lara Ray Robinson. Rhonda Stephanie Robinson. Larissa Kayla Tricia Stinson. Ellen Wienisk. Bridget Wood. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Computerized Business Applications Program, Ruth Lean Erickson. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Office Assistant Program, Lita Isabel Biglow. <laughs> Harker and Carr with distinction. Nolita Dawn Robinson. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor. May I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Bachelor of Education program. Heather Ann Fecto Forbister.
Harlan Brianne Houndle, with distinction. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Arts program. Chelsea Samantha Bruderer, with distinction. Peter Allen Harris, with distinction. Good, Mama. Good. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies program. Daryl Kevin Mason. Lisa Moynias. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Early Childhood Education Program. Mary Ellen Folster, with distinction. Cynthia Joy McKay, with distinction. <laughs> Danielle Morrissey, with distinction. Jasmine Michelle Nolt, with distinction. <laughs> Angela Francis Richard, with distinction. Bernadine Ross. <laughs> K. 
Catherine Claire Ross, with distinction. Jolene Veo St. Pierre. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Bachelor of Nursing program. Shane Bergeson. <laughs> Taryn Christine Biblo. Melanie April Duncan. Kelsey Hitch. Pritpal Singh Campbell. Jordan Robert Lindsay. Ashley Romano. <laughs> Katerina Maria Stewart. Nairi Chantel Weeb. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the health care aid program? Grace Barbono. Mary Rose Barbono. <laughs> Crystal Joy Halcro. Melissa Mary Lees Kelly.
Ariel Lynn Legacy. Khadija Alin McClellan. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you, uh, to you those whom you've admitted to the Automotive Technician Program. Lance Denichisi. <laughs> Matthew Richard. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you those whom you've admitted to the Facilities Basic Maintenance Program. Raymond Robert Chubb. Dustin Marlin Flett. <laughs> Daniel Joseph Morasti. Owen Ben Nedewayas. <laughs> Corey Michael Perch. Darren Kim Samuel. <laughs> Shawnee Simon Samuel. Harv Ian Conrad Seti. Do you want to keep it? No. <laughs> Taylor Martin Spence. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the University College of the North graduating class of 2018.
Please be seated. We have two more events, the honor song and then the closing recessional. Honor songs are sung to demonstrate respect for an individual or group to recognize their accomplishments. To recognize the achievements of our graduates and graduates, please rise for the honor song sung by the Cree Travelers. Thank you. Please be seated. I'd like to thank everyone who's made today's celebration such a positive and memorable event. Our appreciation goes out to the Council of Elders, the Governing Council, members present today. I also would like to thank Elder Halcrow and the Cree Travelers Drum Group, Platform Party members, and all of you for honoring the graduating class of 2018. Please do join us for the light reception taking place following the ceremonies. Our last formal event is the recessional,
with our graduates and faculty following the platform party, more or less in the same order in which we entered the venue today. Please stand for the recessional.